Right now, business owners in Brentwood are holding a town hall. They are fighting back against a construction plan along Manchester Road that could cause their businesses to close. Annie Crawl is live in Brentwood after hearing from angry business owners and the city. Annie. That's right. The meeting is just getting underway and back in July of 2023, the Brentwood Board of Aldermen unanimously approved a $436 million redevelopment agreement with Green Streets Real Estate Ventures LLC. Yet this 6 p.m. meeting tonight is about airing the grievances here at Time for Dinner, giving those business owners a chance to talk and have the local area people who live in the neighborhood know a little bit more about what they stand to lose. Time for Dinner is a Brentwood meal prep business that's been here for 20 years. Co-owner Amy Stanford is frustrated by the city's plan to knock down many of these businesses to construct the approximately 77 acre Manchester Road corridor, calling them, quote, blighted. We're fine. We're busy and doing well. And why would we be blighted? Last month, Time for Dinner had more than 1,000 customers buying about 6,600 items. That means sending out about 26,000 servings. We have these walk-in refrigerator here where we keep all of our ingredients. But things are heating up with the Brentwood redevelopment plan on both sides of Manchester Road between Mary Avenue, just east of Brentwood Boulevard, and Hanley Road. The city saying on their website they want to use real property tax abatement to incentivize revitalization of the area. In December, several business owners filed a lawsuit against the city of Brentwood. Obviously, you're wildly impacted by a lot of these plans and timelines. So what's the latest that you've heard from the city? Nothing. We've heard nothing from the city. When we asked Tuesday, the city said they had no comment on the Manchester Road corridor or redevelopment, quote, as the area is under ongoing litigation. The business owner group also includes Feathercraft Fly Fishing and Convergence Dance and Body Center, all represented by the national nonprofit law firm Institute for Justice. We brought a lot of um, people to Brentwood and a lot of people who enjoy coming here. And so we're we want to stay. We've got a good thing going and we want to keep it going. And right behind me are attorneys and activists from Institute for Justice who started this meeting and are speaking to people as they land in St. Louis this afternoon from Washington, D.C. They're asking folks to reach out to their board of aldermen as well as the mayor, just asking and sharing their opinion about the Manchester Road corridor plan as it stands right now. Reporting live in Brentwood, Annie Crawl, Five on Your Side.